Welcome to our Learning for Knowledge YouTube channel. Today we are starting another topic which relates with the boiler. Boiler which is used to produce a steam for different purposes in the industry. And later on we will explain the water treatment used or we can use different type of water treatment to control the quality of the water used in the boilers in the producing of the steam. So in this video we will define the steam boiler and then its classification and types which will describe different types of boiler in this system. So we will move toward the video. Now what is steam boiler system? A steam boiler is an enclosed vessel that holds water and converts this water to steam when we apply the heat by different ways. No, commonly used heat sources in boilers are coal, oil and gases. And all steam boilers contain tubes that separate the water from the heat source. When the heat source applied in, in a way, in such a way that it transfers its heat and then convert the water which is present in the tube or arts outside the tube depending upon the design into the steam. So the steam produced at low pressure used in various industrial processes work like in cotton mills, sugar industries, in pharmaceutical and different chemical processes. And also for producing hot water which can be used for heating installations at much low pressure. So when the steam or heat is heat which produces the steam at low pressure or it only uh, heat up the water then these are the application some application and which are uh, where we can use these uh, hot water or steam. But when we produce the steam at high pressure it's normally used in power application where this steam there where the steam drive the turbine and ultimately uh, uh, we will produce electricity. Now, classification and types of boiler. Basically, boilers are classified in various ways depending upon their use. Whether, for example, it is vertical boiler, it is horizontal boiler, it is if it is used in locomotive then it is locomotive boiler or in marine application it is called marine boiler. So there are different types or it may be depend upon their uses, their applications. But here we will focus only two type of classification used for the describing the boiler. So number one is the operating pressure. So classification based on the operating pressure it is the amount of internal pressure generated by the steam. So whether it is a low pressure, it is medium pressure, it is higher pressure. So we describe this based on the some certain type of operating limits based on the pressure. Second is the design. The how we will design or make the boiler. So this is called operational design. Whether the water or the heat source passes through inside of the tubes or outside of the tubes. Now we will classify that on the basis of design. If water flows inside then water tube boiler or if heat source passes inside the tubes and water is outside the tubes in the tank then this is called fire tube boiler. So classification based on pressure. Low pressure boiler, a boiler that operates at pressure below 103 kilopascal or 1500 pounds per square inch of gauge. If the pressure is lower than this, then this is called low pressure boiler. And then high pressure boiler, a boiler that operates at pressure greater than 103 kilopascal or higher than 15 pound per square inch gauge. Higher pressure boilers can operate at pressure reaching thousands of kilopascals. So there is a no limit but as the pressure is going on and on higher and higher that is called high pressure and its application and its application become uh, more and more sophisticated and required 
a high quality of steam production as compared to low pressure boiler these water treatment regarding the pressure and other uses we will describe in the coming videos now fire tube boiler which is based on the design this is a second type of classification in this type of boiler fire and hot combustion gases passes through the interior of the boiler tubes to heat the water that surrounds the tube that is present basically you can say in a tank in in that tank tubes are passing and through those tubes uh, heat source moves and then it uh, transmit its energy through this tubes to the water and it start heating and making the steam so normally fire tube boilers are low pressure boilers and this type of boiler design is commonly used for factory assembled boilers which are at low pressure and the overall efficiency normally of water tube boiler with economizer is up to 75 percent this is the diagram you can see that in this diagram these are the tube and which are uh, shown by a uh, red color and this color which is used to describe other than red is now is a water so here fuel and air comes this is firebox now heat is produced and it moves through these tubes and then heat the water which are present in the tank and then it go out as a flue gas from this exhaust now feed water comes in the tank from these sides there is a drain and then steam comes from the top of this tank or from the other side of this tank there is a pressure relief valve which is used to uh, for the safety of this boiler that is when the steam pressure is too much high and reaches at certain pressure then this safety valve operates and releases the pressure of the steam or this is a drain when there is a lot of sludge uh, formed in the water and it uh, settles at the bottom so drain valve is used to remove that sludge and make the uh, water qual quality of the water to be improved and the other type which is based on design is water tube boiler in this type of boiler water passes through the boiler tubes while the, in the as compared to the previous picture where fire and hot combustion passes through the tubes now in water tube water passes through this boiler uh, tubes while the fire and hot combustion gases contacting the exterior of the tubes so water tube boilers are used in high pressure and very high pressure applications and the overall efficiency of water tube boiler with economizer is up to 90 percent very good efficiency this is a basic some schematic you can see this is a tube and water flow through this tube and feed water come in this uh, you can say drum and now heat source is applied outside the tube it heats the water and then uh, water raises up as the difference of due to the difference of the density of cold and hot water and it comes here and from this uh, drum steam is separated out and goes from this path and the cold water comes down downside this is the way in which we heat the tubes which contain the water there is another picture which explain this very uh, more explicitly this is the lower drum and this is the heat from exhaust gases or heating now the water rises as this is a hot area and this is a hot water rises up and after reaching in this steam drum now dry steam separate out at the top of this uh, in the top of this drum and the feed water which comes inside in this part and then the cold water which is a down comer now comes and this is in this way this is this, this uh, water circulate in this uh, circuit and this is called if there is no external uh, force is applied this is called natural circulation flow the why because the water moves due to its de density difference cold water have high density and uh, 
you know hot water has lower density so it rises up and it reach in this drum where it is much more uh, it, it in this drum the steam droplets comes out separated and the remaining part of the water comes back back and then it circulate this is called natural circulation if we apply some force for the circulation then this is called force circulation so this is about the one of the basic thing about the boiler and its uh, classification based on the pressure and design so <clears throat> we will try to explain further in the coming video about the parts of the boiler and then the and then the water treatment applied to control the quality of water and steam in the boiler in the coming videos please keep watching our videos thank you very much and see you in the next video